As you can tell, I haven't been uploading. While there are various reasons why I've stopped, I decided if I feel passionate enough about a topic, might as well make a video. And that's what's happening today. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about HBO's Max, most recent, and probably only currently animated series, Velma. It's supposed to be a more adult take on the Scooby-Doo franchise from Velma's point of view. And since I'm making a video on it, you know it's going to be somewhat bad. Do you seriously think I make videos on things I actually enjoy? So, around May, it broke out that Mindy Kaling was going to be producing a more adult-oriented show featuring Velma as the main character. At the time, there were only a few screenshots circling around giving us a look at the series. So, unfortunately, the screenshot I saw would probably get this video taken down or age-restricted, but to give somewhat of a summary, it showed a group of girls in a locker room, including Velma and Daphne, with a course on the ground with his head cut open. To be honest, it didn't give me a good feeling about this series. It had gore and also nudity. That's right, for some reason on the screen, Daphne was naked. With a lot of adult cartoons now, they believe that they have to have violence and sexual references to be considered adult. This screenshot could have been taken out of context, and I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but it was just such an awful way to present the show by featuring some of the most common tropes we see in adult animation today. I guess something else we should talk about is the character designs, because of course that caused controversy when these screenshots were going around. So, in this series, Velma is portrayed as South Asian, Daphne is East Asian, and Shaggy is African American. It is very common in media now when there are reboots of certain shows or movies that the characters' races change, and this could be for various different reasons. Most recently, we saw it with the live-action reboot of The Little Mermaid, that Ariel was going to be played by Halle Berry, who is Black. People were very upset when I think there are many valid things that you could probably critique the movie on. Race doesn't matter. I know a lot of people were trying to make the argument that, oh, this story takes place in Denmark, meaning they have to be white. Even though there is a black population in Denmark, although it's quite small. The movie is about a singing mermaid. I'm pretty sure it's far from being realistic in the first place. And same here applies to Velma. Being white was never an important part of these characters, meaning that pretty much anyone could portray them, no matter what race. Trust me, race swapping isn't erasing so-called white representation, it's just giving a new take on the character. Another argument that was going around that I feel has some credibility was that Velma is a self-insert of Mindy Kaling. Both of them are South Asian, and while well, this could merely be a coincidence, I know a lot of shows they tend to make the characters look like the voice actors, I really don't think it's actually a point towards Velma's design, more or less her personality, because I don't see an issue with her actually being South Asian just because her voice actor is. The next thing that came out about the series was the character bios. Daphne was going to be a popular mean girl who deals drugs. Fred was going to be the typical rich white guy with a tiny penis. Shaggy was going to be a simp that literally tries to sell his kidney so he can give Velma money. And Velma herself was going to be more self-aware, meaning overused fourth wall jokes. It was clever in Deadpool, but now it's just painfully overdone in a lot of these adult shows. What's the point of doing a show that changes everything and contradicts the original character's personality? Daphne was always portrayed as being super sweet and a very supportive person of Velma, but maybe a little bit lightheaded here and there. Fred has also been portrayed as a good person with his obsession with making traps. Shaggy was a stoner-like dude who had zero self-awareness, but still held some of his dignity. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're somewhat aware of the Scooby-Doo movies and shows. 
One of the most highly regarded shows that pretty much did what Velma could be was Mystery Incorporated. Yes, this show was made for kids, but it also had a developed story with plot points, as well as darker elements that were never pushed down your throat. This series also had some of the best portrayal of these characters seen to date. I've been a huge fan of the franchise since I was a kid. I mean, I even had a great date. But I have to admit that the characters were always a little bit dense, especially in the earlier shows. It was refreshing to see a slightly different take on them, but still playing homage to their original traits. And that just brings me to the point, why is this a Scooby-Doo related show in the first place? Besides the names and the appearances, this could be any other adult-oriented show. I honestly think this was the only way they were probably able to market this story. Maybe it was established to be something else, and they grabbed a easy to attain IP, and they just ran with it. Maybe it would make more sense if these characters weren't related to Scooby-Doo, and their personalities and goals actually made sense for the characters. One of the things that was revealed about this story is that it takes place when these characters are teenagers. I do not understand the weird obsession that media has with high school, especially with adult-oriented shows. The school aspect could completely be removed from a lot of these shows and be replaced with something like college or just regular life, and at least they would be more legal at that point. Like, what do these characters being naked connect to the plot? It's just simply there to make it more adult, and these companies and showrunners never understand that. Look at Bluey. This show is made for literal preschoolers, but you see adults dote over the show all the time. It just matters about the story because it's embarrassing when children's shows are pulling in more adults. Shows can use this more mature humor, but they just need to know when. It shouldn't be the punchline in every joke they make. The last thing I want to end on is this current controversy with Mindy Kaling, because even though it's not directly connected to the show itself, it's been a huge argument against it. Back in October, Mindy ended up liking a tweet by JK Rowling. You might know her as being the author of Harry Potter, but she has also gotten quite the reputation of being a TERF. This term means someone who is strongly cares about women's spaces but is very against transgender women being in those spaces. It's like being transphobic, but with a few extra steps. JK has been very vocal for her feelings towards the trans community, considering like that's her only personality trait currently. JK was making a response that was somehow still transphobic, and Mindy ended up liking it. People ended up calling her out, and she unliked the tweet, and it was never addressed. If you don't know, I'm non-binary. People have been saying that this is proving that she's a TERF, but then there's this other side saying that she could have been doing this on accident. See. This is a situation where there has to be proof a continuous behavior calls somebody a turf like that. I feel like it's not the best idea to automatically go to that. Her liking that tweet has been the only thing I've seen as concrete evidence of her potentially being transphobic. I'm not sure if there's something else out there. I did try doing a little bit digging, but like I couldn't find anything. And you know, she could very well be transphobic, but if she actually did this on accident, I don't think it's a good idea as a celebrity to be interacting with any controversial figures. It's just extremely idiotic. Also, it's like, at this point, people who are cisgender just really shouldn't be involving themselves with transgender issues, because Half of the time, their takes are absolutely terrible. There's plenty of other stuff going on this show that is concerning that you can call out. It's incredibly sad that these companies are strongly focusing on these horrible adult shows, while ones with interesting concepts 
are getting canceled. It's best at this point to ignore this stuff from awful creators and support shows and creators that we actually like. As I said earlier, if you do want to watch a show related to Scooby-Doo that is much more mature, just go watch Mystery Incorporated or even some of the live action movies that show way more respect for this franchise than this show ever will.